out here, the surface of the ocean is vast and featureless, but it's not the surface of the ocean that researchers are interested in. They want to find out what's going on below. Some answers will come from the underwater moorings UC San Diego researchers set out to recover during this trip. The devices were dropped into the water months ago. Once the ship is close... We're good to release? We're going to release it right now. A release code is sent. The weights holding the instruments underwater are released, and the device floats to the surface. And they're underwater. I see a... Uh, yeah, there we are. Spotted there, Keith. You'll see the other part come up. It's actually... The, the other part should pop up. There it goes. Oh, there Oop. it is. It comes up. The other part comes up like a submarine. From there, it's a matter of grabbing the array and hauling it back on board. The journey's principal investigator is a UC San Diego graduate student. Maddie Heyman stands by one of the instruments that's been underwater collecting data for months. The huge orange ball is a flotation device that keeps the small acoustic instruments pointed down. It sends out acoustic pings, and by measuring the Doppler shift between the outgoing sound and the incoming sound wave, um, you get information about what the velocity of the water is. Heyman is studying how underwater tides flow through the La Jolla Canyon system. That movement creates turbulence, which brings nutrients to vibrant nearshore areas. They're kind of a connection between the open ocean, the offshore shelf waters, and the nearshore waters. Knowing how that complex underwater system works could help researchers understand how they create and maintain healthy marine environments near the coast. But underwater tides aren't the only target on this research cruise. UC San Diego researcher Anna Sharovich is also retrieving moorings that have been recording underwater sounds for months. She's not listening for water, but for the large mammals that live in it. The species that we're interested in are endangered species, so large baleen whales like blue and fin whales. And their populations in Southern California, some of them have been steady for a long time, and they, they don't seem to be recovering after the whaling that happened in the 20th century. Sharovich is using acoustic recorders to track whales that move through the region. And she is also tracking schools of plankton and krill, track the food, she reasons, and you can track what eats it. The research vessel makes that work possible. We deploy the instruments and they're sitting on the ocean floor for months at a time, and we come back to retrieve them just on this trip. Uh, and so they have been collecting data for the last four months. The physical oceanography of deep tidal phenomenon doesn't seem to be related to bioacoustic recordings of animals, but being on the ship together has Shirovich and Heyman thinking about ways to work together. We decided that next time we all deploy moorings, we should talk and figure out ways to collaborate and put their instruments on our moorings and our instruments on their moorings so that we can collect data over larger um, areas. Up on the ship's bridge, the crew's third mate leans over a chart plotting the vessel's return home. This cruise was short, but future cruises could last a couple of months. The Sally Ride is big enough to carry several dozen researchers and technicians. Marine research technician Keith Shadel says the ship is really a lesson in perspective. Yeah, you're tiny when you're out here. And uh, you're, you're in your own enclosed ecosystem. Shadel says collecting moorings and doing underwater recordings from the vessel are pretty easy and routine. However, the crew is still trying to figure out all of the Sally Ride's capabilities. One upcoming project will determine whether the ship can take core samples from the ocean floor. We're going to tilt this big, huge tube, maybe about 20 feet long, vertical on the water, and send it down to the bottom of the ocean. It's going to trip and fall and take a big old sample of the bottom of the ocean. This voyage is the first of what researchers hope will be many ocean journeys. The Sally Ride is designed to have a lifespan of more than 40 years. It will likely touch all of the world's oceans before it retires. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.